Welcome. You are now entering a new and exciting dimension in computer technology. With the Atari STE computer, you'll discover a world of color, sound, and excitement that you never thought was possible. Atari has always been a leader in computer technology. And with their latest development, the Atari STE, personal computers have taken a step into the 21st century. The reasons for using a computer are as varied as the individuals who own them. For years, kids all over the world have spent hours exploring the excitement of Atari. And as those kids have grown up, Atari has grown with them. Whatever your need, the Atari STE will provide a versatility and flexibility unmatched by any other computer in the market. With its enormous memory, easily expandable to four megabytes, the Atari STE is powerful enough to run business programs like spreadsheets and databases with an ease you never thought possible. If it's sound and color you're looking for, the Atari STE has a built-in music interface, true stereo sound, and a mind-blowing palette of 4,096 colors. Be as creative as you want. Your pictures can come alive for you with movement, song, and dance. As an educational tool, whether the need is for simple spelling and maths, learning how to type, or more advanced scientific programs, the Atari STE will keep young ones enchanted for hours. And it also has the features to grow with them as they move into the most demanding work or study environments. And if it's entertainment you want, nothing can match the Atari STE. Up to four players at a time can take on the challenge of one of the largest and most exciting ranges of arcade quality games in the world with graphics and sound that take your breath away. People of all ages in almost every country in the world have begun to fully understand how much they depend on Atari to accomplish their work faster, easier, and more economically. And now you can too. But owning an Atari STE computer is only the first step. Learning how to use it is the second. And the purpose of this video is to make that second step easier. Many people buying a computer for the first time are nervous about putting it together and turning it on. Well, sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. Not only is the Atari STE simpler and friendlier to use than any other computer, it is also one of the most reliable. And after watching this video, you'll have the knowledge and the confidence you need to begin using your Atari STE computer. Let's begin by looking at the equipment that makes up an Atari STE system. Most important is the computer itself, because it is the brain which has control over all the STE's functions. The computer makes use of two different types of memory, RAM, and ROM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It is a part of the computer's memory that is used for reading and writing. When you run a program on the STE, like a game or word processor, the computer uses the space in its memory to hold that program. And the information stored in the RAM is always lost when the computer is turned off. There are two RAM sizes available in the STE systems. The Atari 520 STE has a memory which can hold the equivalent of 512,000 characters. To put it another way, the 520 STE can hold about 250 pages of typed information, like a small paperback book. The 1040 STE has a RAM which can hold 1 million characters. This is twice as much as most personal computers, and adds up to about 500 typed pages, the equivalent of that fat novel you've been waiting to read. But regardless of which system you have, the Atari STE is the only computer that can easily expand up to four megabytes of memory. The amount of space available in the RAM gives you the flexibility to run a wide range of software programs, from the most complicated and exciting games like Captain Blood or Hostages, to an intricate design program like BeckerCAD or CyberSculpt. The Atari STE computer holds all its startup information in a memory area called ROM, or read-only memory. 
This is unique to Atari and makes your computer easier to use because all you have to do to get started is turn it on. You cannot accidentally damage this information in ROM. And because it doesn't require extra memory space for this information, your system is faster and more powerful to use. Because whatever is in the computer's memory is lost when it's turned off, we need some sort of information storage. Using a disk to store the novel that you've been writing, for example, means that you can call that information back whenever you want. The disk drive in your STE computer gives you twice the storage capacity of some computers, and one disk will hold about 350 typed pages of text. Without a video display screen, your computer has no way of talking to you, and you can't communicate with it. Your Atari STE is the only personal computer that gives you the option of using an Atari monochrome or color monitor for crisp, clear pictures. Or if you wish, you can use your own television. The final two parts of your STE computer are the keyboard and the mouse. The main part of the STE computer keyboard is arranged in a familiar typewriter layout to make the computer easier to use. If you have never learned to type, there are Typing Tutor programs available for the Atari STE. There are also special keys, like the function keys, which make it easier for you to give instructions to your computer. The cursor or arrow keys help you to keep your place as you type. The mouse is the device which really makes your STE a snap to use. As you move the mouse around, you will see a small arrow on the screen called the mouse pointer tracking your movements. What could be easier? Now that you understand the main parts that make up your Atari STE computer, the time has come to put them all together and turn your system on. Make sure the computer is turned off and plug one end of the power cable into the socket marked power on the back of the computer. Plug the cable's electrical plug into a wall outlet or power board. The mouse is plugged into the left-hand port on the underside of the computer. The right-hand port is used for a joystick. The Atari monochrome or color monitors can be plugged into the socket labeled monitor on the back of the computer. Then plug the electrical plug into a wall outlet or power board. If you prefer to use your television as the display for your computer, use the cable supplied. Plug one end into the computer socket labeled television and the other end into the aerial socket. Tune your television to either channel one or three. Finally, you may want to know what the other ports are for on the back and side of your STE computer. The modem port, which is identified by a telephone symbol, is also called the serial port. A modem is an electronic device which gives you the chance to connect your computer directly to a telephone line and then talk to other computers. Next to that is the printer port, which is also called the parallel port. Connecting a printer to this port can give you a printed copy of the information you have typed on your computer. An Atari hard disk drive, which stores large amounts of information, can be attached to the next port. Of course, Atari are leaders in this technology, with three different hard drives, including the Megafile 44. This is a hard drive for the STE computer, which has a removable 40 megabyte cartridge for more economy and greater security. A second floppy disk drive can also be attached to your computer, at the floppy disk port. Underneath the power switch are two stereo audio sockets which give you the chance to plug your computer into an external amplifier for louder, better quality audio effects. The reset button, located to the left of the power switch, restarts the computer anytime you wish. Your STE makes changing programs as simple as pushing a button, the reset button. On the left side of your computer are the MIDI or music interface ports. Atari systems are used by musicians all around the world because they are the only personal computers that include a MIDI system. 
by connecting your STE to an electronic instrument like a keyboard, the two can actually communicate with each other. Because music programs are often in a cartridge format, the Atari STE includes a cartridge port. Cartridge programs load instantly and do not use any of the computer's memory. This gives a musician more space to stretch his or her creativity. Finally, there are two extra joystick ports on the left side of the computer. The STE gives even the sharpest games player the excitement of testing skills against three other opponents, all at the same time. Had enough? The moment you have been waiting for has finally arrived, and you can turn your STE computer on. First of all, take your STE language disk and slide it all the way into the disk drive with the label upwards and the metal end facing towards the disk drive slot. Then switch on your monitor and your STE computer. You will hear the disk drive whir and the busy light on the upper right corner of the STE will glow. You will also see a busy B on your screen which means that your computer is retrieving information and cannot do anything else. After a few moments, the bee disappears and your desktop is shown on the screen. Your Atari STE is both friendly and easy to work with because it uses pictures called icons and words rather than words alone. Your desktop, for example, is made up of a menu bar along the top of the screen and three icons or pictures down the left side of the screen. Using the floppy disk icons will allow you to load information which is stored on disk. The trash can icon allows you to literally throw away unwanted information, just like the trash can under your desk. But be warned, use the trash can carefully because once information is thrown away, it cannot be recovered. Pointing at the words desk, file, view, and options will pull down different menus, and you will notice that some of the options in each menu are printed in black, meaning that you can make use of those functions now. Selecting an item is a way of telling the computer you want to do something. It's quite simple. All you need to do is point the mouse pointer at the disk icon or menu choice that you want, and click the left mouse button once. If you change your mind about any choice, just click the left mouse button again, and it will unselect your icon. If you've pulled down an unwanted menu, just point to any empty space on the desktop and click the left mouse button. The menu disappears. Dragging an icon from one spot to another is used for copying disks and sending files to the trash can. To drag an icon, point to floppy disk A and select it with the left mouse button. Then hold the left button down while you drag the mouse to another spot. When the mouse button is released, the icon jumps to its new location. Now, let's open up a window on the desktop. A window is a small screen that acts as if you could look inside the disk drive to see what files are on your disk. Right now, we'll open a window on the language disk, which is still in the disk drive. To open this window, select a disk icon and point and click on the open option under the file menu. Or simply point at the disk icon and quickly click the left mouse button twice. The window will show the files that have already been saved on the language disk. And these files are shown as two different types of pictures. This makes it easier for you to identify the two different types of files. The icons, which look like a file folder, are program files and contain programs which actually allow the computer to perform certain functions, like word processing. Icons that look like sheets of paper with a corner folded over are data files which hold information. For example, a data file might contain the text of a letter you wrote using a word processing program like First Word Plus. If it's confusing to sort out the data files from the program files using icons, the Atari STE gives you a choice. Pull down the view menu and click on the option Show as Text. 
you will now see the files in your window as titles rather than pictures. So far, we've covered the parts of your Atari STE computer and how to get started with some of the housekeeping functions. It's now time to begin working with disks. Remember, disks act as storage for your files, just like a small filing cabinet. We'll start by making a backup copy of the language disk. It's always very important to make backup copies of disks, and your Atari STE makes the copying process so easy, it takes very little time. But the first operation before copying any disk is to format the blank disk you will use for that copy. Formatting a disk prepares it to electronically accept information from your Atari STE. All new disks must be formatted before they are used for the very first time. You can also use formatting as an easy way to completely wipe old disks for use again. But first, make sure there is no information on them that you need to keep. To begin, put a blank disk into the disk drive and select that drive by clicking on the icon for floppy disk A. Then, pull down the file menu and click on the format option. You will now see a dialog box which asks if you are sure you want to go ahead. Since your disk is blank, click on the OK button to go on. The format box allows you to label your disk and gives you a choice of using one or both sides of a new disk. Because your language disk is in a single-sided format, you will also set up your blank disk in a single-sided format, as disk copies must always match. When you've made your choice, click on the OK button. While the computer formats the disk, you will see a working box. And when the process is complete, you will be told how much space is available for use on your disk. Click on the OK button and then on Cancel to return to the desktop. Now that your blank disk is formatted, you can make a backup copy of the language disk so that the original can be stored in a safe place. Again, the STE makes this so easy, you will soon get in the habit of backing up all your original disks. To begin, point to the icon for floppy disk A, and holding down the left mouse button, drag the icon onto floppy disk B. Release the button when the shading reverses. You will then see a dialog box, which asks if you are sure you want to go ahead. Click on the OK button. Put the language disk in Drive A and, again, click on the OK button. Follow the instructions to finish the copy process. When the STE asks for disk B, it is looking for your blank formatted disk. The computer will copy all of the information on the language disk or source disk into its memory. When it's finished, it will then recopy it onto your blank disk or destination disk. When the copying is finished, click on the Cancel button to return to the desktop. You can protect the information on your original disk by sliding the right protect notch on the back of the disk down until you can see through the notch. Anytime you want to add more information to a protected disk, just slide the notch back up until the space disappears. You may find that you just want to copy one or two files to another blank disk rather than going through a complete disk copy. On other computers, copying files can be a complicated process. On your Atari STE, the process is no more difficult than dragging a file from one spot to another. Begin by putting your language disk into the disk drive and open the window on the floppy disk A icon. Make sure you also have a formatted blank disk nearby. We can start by copying the control.acc file. Click on that file in the window and drag it across to the floppy disk B icon so that the shading reverses. Release the mouse button and click on the OK button in the copy box. Then follow the instructions on the screen to complete the copying. You can also use the same process to erase or throw away files you no longer need. Put your practice disk, not the language disk, in the disk drive and open a window on it. You should see control.acc listed. Now point to that file 
and drag it down to the trash can so that the shading reverses. You will be asked if you want to go ahead with erasing that file. Click on the OK button and the file will disappear from your disk. But remember, once something is put in the trash, it's gone forever. If you've sat through this video from the beginning, you may feel as if you've already forgotten those things discussed at the start. But don't panic. By using the STE Owner's Manual and going through this video again step by step, you will quickly master the basic skills that you need to use your computer successfully. And once that happens, the real fun begins. By developing powerful as well as affordable systems, Atari has attracted the attention of many important software developers. The result for you is one of the largest and fastest growing ranges of software in the world. Using these programs can open up a new and exciting world of entertainment, education, music and business. Word processing, for example, is easily one of the most popular tasks your STE computer can help you tackle. Programs like First Word Plus and Microsoft Write change your computer into a super typewriter and allow you to use your computer to write everything from a shopping list to a best-selling novel. Not only do you get an unmatched speed and flexibility, but the quality of your final documents will have a professional look you never thought possible. With a word processor, the computer allows you to correct your mistakes and make any changes you want before printing your work on paper. You can erase words or phrases or whole blocks of text. You can insert new words or sentences, move text around, underline important phrases, and center titles, all with only a few keystrokes or mouse clicks. Word processors give you the chance to experiment and arrange your written work using any text format you wish. Then you can send your work to a printer or store it on disk to be used with a desktop publishing program. Desktop publishing programs like PageStream and Calamus take your written text one step further and offer you the opportunity to produce professional quality advertisements, invitations, newsletters. You're only limited by your own imagination. You can rearrange columns, drop in photos or computer-generated pictures, and put in a headline that really grabs attention. Expand the memory on your STE and add a high-quality Atari laser printer and you can generate a professional look that you've never achieved on a personal computer. Maybe your need is for a home accounting package. Phasar will allow you to push around numbers and formulas, analyze the stock market, figure your income tax, or budget for that family holiday. But if you want something more powerful, LDW power may be the advantage you need. It can manipulate worksheets of incredible complexity, and allow you to drop in files created on Lotus 123. Did you think you could have this much power and speed on a personal computer? How about something a bit more artistic? Take a program like Neochrome and you can create countless shapes, pictures and graphic designs using colors from the 4096 color palette available on the STE. Using the program's wide array of brushes and tools, you can actually paint pictures on the computer canvas or design graphs, charts, or illustrations to be used in other programs. Or assemble your work into a slideshow for added enjoyment. If that seems too tame, jump into the Cyber series of animation programs and create stunning 3D animations that you thought were only possible using a $100,000 animation workstation. CyberPaint gives you the tools to design animated titles, computerized cartoons, and special effect sequences that previously lived only in your imagination. CyberSculpt and CyberStudio turn them into realistic three-dimensional images. This is the advantage you've been waiting for. Always dreamed about composing and performing your own music? Only Atari, with its built-in MIDI system, can give you the same advantage the professionals have. Start off in your own home with an STE computer and an electronic keyboard 
and create the sound you've always wanted to in realistic 8-bit stereo. You don't have to read music to compose music. Your STE can write it for you. Or take your music up to the level of many professional musicians. Combine as many different sounds as you like and record it one track at a time. Replay it through your STE computer and add volume and tempo to create the atmosphere you want. Your Atari STE is now a sophisticated studio recorder. For almost 20 years, Atari have been the leaders in entertainment for personal computers. Play the games that test your skills, from Captain Blood and Purple Saturn Day to Vegas Gambler and Hostages. Your STE can give you hours of enjoyment and excitement with realistic and high-speed graphics, stereo sound music, and up to four players challenging each other at a time. Atari gives you an entertainment advantage that no other personal computer can match. Now, you've had a glimpse of what you can do with your Atari STE computer. The next step is to get started. This video has given you the skills to make that start. What happens next is limited only by your own interest and imagination. Atari Computers is a company that has taken the lead in developing the latest technology to produce exciting, entertaining, and powerful computers. From the world's smallest PC, the Atari Portfolio, through the expanding range of Atari Mega Computers and MS-DOS-based systems to transputers, Atari has proven to be a leader in research and development. And with a successful history like that, you can be sure that Atari will always continue to support their products. Around the world, Atari computers have gained popularity with students and teachers, musicians, business people, scientists, programmers, home users, people just like you. Atari has given them the advantage that can meet their needs now and in the future. Now, Atari lets you take the advantage. Take the advantage. Atari!